Hi, it's Tim Baker. I'm here with Warner Bookman. He's the lead chemist for Legend Brands. So as I'm talking to you, I'm staring at this piece of equipment here. Oh, this, yeah. And, uh, it's been a little while since I've been to the lab. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me a little bit about what this does? Well, this is a ultra high performance liquid chromatographer. Chromatography means separation. Liquid, it means it separates liquids. What this instrument does is separates the chemicals and it identifies those. And there's a column here, it's in that column that the separation occurs and allows them to run now one by one through this detector. And then from here, it goes to a second detector, but this is designed to help us identify surfactants very well. So this tests liquids, can you test solvents as well? Sure, it depends on the solvent. If the solvent is very volatile, then this is not gonna work. For that, we have this other instrument on the back there, which is a gas chromatographer mass spectrometer. Again, chromatography means separation, and that separates in gas. So between the two, we can test gases, solvents, gases, or liquids. We can identify what the chemical compounds are in that particular mixture that we have. You can pretty much break down any formula then. Pretty much. So recently we've had like 30 products that we were able to take off of the Prop 65 list. Correct. Is that because of this technology? That's correct. It allows us to um, do a separation of, of our products and uh, look for those particular chemical compounds that California deem to be uh, carcinogenic. The, the system generates specific reports that allow us to prove that they actually the, those particular uh, chemicals are not in our products. Mm -hmm. So compliance is becoming more and more stringent, more, more difficult, and we want to be truthful for, to, to the agencies that regulate us and also for our customers. And so not only are we looking at our formulas, we can look at competitive products just to see what they have going in Oh, products. sure. We can look at their, their products. Uh, these instruments allow us to do a lot of analysis of our competitors. So yeah, we can see what they're doing. And we did some efficacy analysis also on a competitor disinfectant, mm -hmm. thymol-based product, and the product did not perform any efficacy as is stated on the label. Do most labs have this kind of instrumentation? It depends on the type of laboratory. In our industry, it's highly unlikely because of the cost of this. Um, that one was $75,000. This was $138,000. So on top of this table here, we have over $200,000 of equipment. I just want to kind of talk to you about the chemistry of today and where we're heading. Our level of, of research and development that we're doing is becoming so finite that in order for us to reach the next level of the things we want to create and develop, we need to look into a very, very small particle sizes and determine if what we're creating or what we're using is safe. We have added new technologies to 105 products that are on the Chemist Pack and the ProChem brand. We have not advertised, we have not said anything. So they may have not noticed any changes in a product other than they dissolve faster, they stay clear, they clean better, they don't plug their equipment, they don't settle at the bottom of the container, and the products actually are safer for them. I have had calls actually, yeah. people saying, boy, this stuff dissolves immediately, what do you do? Correct, because our interest is really to make the products better, more efficient and safer for the end user. Our mm -hmm. goal is to make their life easier. So using all these new technologies that we have uh, to improve these products. And we're, we're continuing, we're running through our entire product line and doing those types of, of analysis and improvement.